In the last episode, we talked about how to create a constructor and a destructor inside object-oriented programming. Now in this episode, we're going to learn how to delete an object after we instantiated it. As you guys can see right now inside my index file, I have an object here called object, which is an instantiation of new class, which is inside my file called new class. And what I did underneath it was I went ahead and echoed out the method called get property. Now what I want to do here is, as you guys remember from the previous episode, is we created a constructor and a destructor. Now the destructor is a function that runs as soon as the object here, as soon as the class is done loading. So when we do actually instantiate an object and insert it inside, for example, our index file like I did here, it runs the entire code inside the class, including the constructor and the destructor, which runs at the end. And what we want to do here is we want to run the destructor or trigger it and actually run the destructor in order to actually delete the object. So what I want to do here is in between my instantiator class and the echo down here is I want to run the destructor before we echo out the method to show you guys that once we do actually destroy the object, we can't use it anymore. Now deleting an object is something we can choose to do if we have a bunch of objects and we don't want to use all of them. So some of them we have already used, we don't need to use them anymore and we can go ahead and delete them. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and go in between the instantiated object or the instantiated class and the echo and I'm going to go ahead and say unset, which is a function that will go ahead and unset or destroy the object that is inside the parentheses by actually running the destructor function inside the class. So we're going to go ahead and copy the object inside on set. And what you guys will notice is that we do actually get an error message inside the browser when I do actually refresh. So as you guys can see now, the browser can actually find the variable called object because we unset it here and it can't find the function called get property or the method inside the class called get property. And that's because right now we did actually unset the object by triggering the destructor inside the class. So this is how we can unset or destroy objects after we create them. I hope you guys found this useful and I'll see you guys next time.